Hey you, with the big retirement account. Yeah, you. The person desperately wishing your savings were in a Roth account rather than a traditional account. What if you can make that transition right now without a penny in taxes or penalties? I'm Brian Ellis. Get ready to have your mind blown right now in episode number 102. You're listening to Self-Directed Investor Radio, America's only podcast exclusively for affluent, self-directed investors, where each day of the week you receive innovative investment strategy and deadly accurate market analysis that's untainted by Wall Street and unblemished by government propaganda, all in seven minutes or less. Coming to you now from iTunes, Stitcher, and SDIRadio.com, here's your host, Brian Ellis. Folks, thanks for your patience during the past couple of days while I've not published any episodes for you. You can probably tell my voice sounds pretty bad right now. I've got a really bad cold, so thanks for your indulgence. Socrates once said, like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. Well, I'm not certain if he really said that or if it was just ripped off by a 1980s era soap opera, but the hourglass is a central figure in today's powerful strategy that you're about to learn. Let's lay the groundwork. You've got an IRA or 401k, and it's built up very well for you over the years. But it's a traditional account, and when you start making withdrawals in a few years, Uncle Sam is going to come calling, and you'll be paying him back for those tax deductions and a whole lot more that you took along the way and that you thought were such a good idea. You'd do nearly anything to have a redo, to use the Roth account instead so your withdrawals would be totally tax-free, because what Uncle Sam is about to do to you, well, you can practically hear the pig squealing and that awful banjo music from the movie Deliverance. But before I go any farther... I'm not acting as your tax or legal advisor. Go see somebody who is licensed. This is a bleeding edge strategy, and it's entirely possible for you to screw it up. So don't screw it up. Get help from a professional. If you want a referral, I'll give you that info in a minute. It would be absolutely ideal if you could just transfer your traditional funds into your Roth and let that be the end of the story. And you can, but the tax bill you'll get will be staggering. So no dice there. And it would also be nice if there was a fancy legal construct by which you could just bleed value from your traditional to your Roth, but that's not kosher either. There must always be an exchange of fair value in every transaction. Otherwise, the IRS is going to send you a particularly nasty letter. But there is a really cool strategy which can go very much in that direction while fully respecting the law. And since it's pretty technically intense, I'm going to illustrate it with a story. Two young men, brothers in their 30s, wanted to partner together to purchase an investment property. They found a good piece of property for their objective. Good location, strong potential, everything in place. The asking price was totally reasonable. The deal was a go. But the brothers had a disagreement. Both of them had enough money to buy more than half of the property, but neither of them had enough to buy the whole thing. So they had to decide how to divide it up. They thought about doing a 50-50 deal, but they knew they'd ultimately run into a disagreement at some point. And that's when the older brother had a great idea. His proposal was this. The younger brother would pay the majority of the purchase price and would own the property outright immediately. The younger brother could do anything he wanted with the property, and every penny that he made from the property would be his to keep. The older brother would put up the remainder of the purchase price, less than half, but he'd not own the property at all until a certain point in the future. What point is that? 25 years from now. It's as if their agreement created a special hourglass, but this one doesn't measure hours. It measures 25 years. While sand is still flowing through this hourglass, the younger brother is in complete control. The property is his, all of the benefits are his, all of the income is his, all of the authority is his. And then, 25 years from now, when that last grain of sand passes from top bulb to bottom, the roles reverse and the older brother becomes permanent owner with all of the benefits of ownership. Well, that suited the younger brother just fine. He got the property he wanted at a great price and he could keep all the money he made from using that property. And the older brother got to invest a much smaller amount of money but had a clear way to benefit in the future from that investment. So what actually happened? How did the transaction work out for the brothers? (laughs) My friends, believe it or not, that's not really relevant. What is relevant is this. On day one of this deal, it's a beautiful thing for the younger brother and kind of a drag for the older brother. But older brother is, he's wiser and a little bit more patient. So how does this deal look 10 years from now? Well, the younger brother still has plenty of time and can make plenty of money, but he's starting to be aware of the limited nature of his situation. And what about when this deal gets to be 24 years old with only one year remaining? Think of it this way. If you were considering buying the interest of just one of these brothers on the day that the deal is 24 years old with only one year remaining, which brother has the better position for which you'd pay the most money? Clearly the older brother. The younger brother only has one year of ownership left, but the older brother gets everything after that forever because with each passing day, With each grain of sand that slips through the hourglass, the older brother is another day closer to owning that property outright forever, and the younger brother is another day closer to having nothing at all. 
It's as if time and time alone transfers value from the younger brother to the older brother. And in reality, that's really what's happening. So how does this relate to your retirement account? Think of the younger brother as your traditional IRA with a lot of money and the older brother as the Roth where you want your money to end up. So it goes like this. You have a traditional IRA or 401k with a lot of taxable profits, and what you really want is for that account to quit growing and for the Roth account to grow instead. So you set up a Roth and you put a small amount of money in it. Then your two accounts partner together on a real estate deal. Your traditional pays the lion's share of the price in order to own the property in the near term, and your Roth pays a much smaller amount in order to own the property in the long term. In the meantime, your traditional account will likely do things to improve that property, so that, that property actually will become a lot more valuable over time. And of course, your traditional account is free to use that property to generate income or to do anything else it wants. But here's the beauty of it. With each passing day, with each passing grain of sand, the value of that property is shifting more and more away from the here and now, that's the part owned by your traditional account, and is shifting more and more towards the forever after part, that's the part that's owned by your Roth. And at some point in the future, that property, along with all of the improvements made on it by your traditional account, well, it'll be the sole property of your Roth account. And when your Roth account sells that property in the future, those profits, which could be substantial, will be available to you entirely tax-free. This is called transaction engineering. Want to know more and how to make it work to lessen the burden of the income taxes Uncle Sam will demand of you when you cash in that fat traditional IRA of yours? then be sure you're on my private discussion list by texting the word SDI Radio to 33444. I'll send you a referral to a great attorney who can help you do this entirely by the book and other magical things as well. Again, text the word SDI Radio with no spaces or periods to 33444 right now. My friends, invest wisely today and live well forever. Thank you for listening to Self-Directed Investor Radio with Brian Ellis. Don't miss a single episode. Be sure to subscribe to Self-Directed Investor Radio right now on iTunes, on Stitcher, and at sdiradio.com. Your feedback is always welcomed via email at feedback at sdiradio.com. This show is for entertainment purposes only and is not intended as legal or professional advice for your situation. Content is the property of the Self-Directed Investor Society. 